hey, Sean, 32-bit floating WAV file recording is a new format that's found in the higher end audio recorders. And today we're quickly gonna go through three questions in this order. Do you need it? What is it? And what is it actually good for? Number one, do you need it? No. And if that's all you needed, thanks for watching. If you'd like to know more, stick around for a minute. 32-bit float files are a new format of recording that is available in the higher end audio recorders like the Zoom H6, some of the sound devices. Um, a lot of the higher end recorders have this capability. And compared to a 16-bit wave file or a 24-bit wave file, 32 float isn't just an extra eight bits on top of 24, but it's how it uses those eight and the actual format of the bits, of the bytes, that makes the big difference. In a 16-bit WAV file, you get 16 bits, numbers, ones and zeros. And with those 16 bits, you can make about 65,500 different numbers. And so when you record with a 16-bit file, your audio level can be one of 65,000 different amplitudes that, that it's able to record and, and differentiate between in your signal. What that translates to is about 96 decibels of dynamic range from the quietest to the loudest. 96 decibels fit inside 16 bits. Um, anything that's more nuanced than that gets lost and gets rounded to one of the other bits. A 24-bit file, by adding just eight more bits onto the 16-bit file, a 24-bit file has 16,777,000 different values. And in there, you can have up to 144.5 decibels of dynamic range from the quietest to the loudest. Now, to give you some context, some of the loudest sounds on Earth, a gunshot is 155, 145 decibels. So between no decibels and gunshot, you've got about 155 decibels of dynamic range. So if you're trying to record something very quiet and the loudest part of a gunshot, that headroom in a 144 decibel range file of a 24-bit file will be enough. Now, at the more extreme end of things, there was a volcano that erupted in like 1883 that was measured at 180 decibels and it's the loudest recorded sound ever. So with 144.5 decibels of dynamic range to your audio in a 24-bit file, you can record almost all of that between silence and those loud noises. With the 32-bit float file, you get over 500 undecillion values. So it's, it, it's a one with 38 zeros after it. That's, that's your highest value and your lowest value can be a teeny, teeny, tiny decibel because when they make these files, those extra eight bits aren't just adding extra digits onto the end. They use one of them to be a plus or a minus and the other seven are used to be an exponent. With a 32-bit float file, instead of having just the range from zero to 65,000 or zero to 16 million, you get from zero to three with 38 zeros behind it. It's an undecillion. I haven't ever heard of that before, but it's a lot of different values that, that can exist in there. And because of that, you have over 1,500 decibels of dynamic range. And at default, that goes from around negative 750 decibels to 700 decibels. So it doesn't even stop at the theoretical zero that the 16-bit and 24-bit files stop at. So what does this actually mean? The myth is that you don't ever need to set your levels again. You can just record your microphone into this file and it's gonna pick up every little thing. And it's true, it'll record all the volume, all the nuance of your signal into a file that in a, an audio editor, any digital audio workstation, you'll be able to take a super, super loud sound that would be clipped when it plays back in a normal 24-bit file. You can bring that down. You can attenuate that signal until it's in your actual range of listening. And so even though it had spiked past your normal levels, you can recover that easily in your audio editing software. And same with anything that's way too quiet, you can bring it up without bringing up a noise floor with it. So given that in these real world examples, the biggest ranges of, of difference in audio is going from zero to at absolute most 200 decibels, you don't need 1500 
decibels of dynamic range to your audio, if you set your levels properly, unless something wildly unexpected is happening where you're trying to record someone whispering while gunshots are going off next to them, setting your levels properly and recording a 24-bit file is going to be plenty. Now, if you have the ability to record a 32 float file, you're able to, I guess, throw caution to the wind and just record what is, for all intents and purposes, raw audio where you can adjust the levels of it later without introducing extra noise to your signal. But in all reality, you're going to be setting your levels of your audio recorder and testing them anyway, and you're going to be monitoring it. And so once you've done that, your 32 float file is just adding a bunch of extra data above and below that that you're never going to actually use in your signal unless you're in some crazy extreme case. So do you need it? No. What is it? It's a format of recording that gives you a whole bunch extra dynamic range to your audio signal. And it's useful for if you have no idea what you're doing, but you're going to give your file to somebody who does and who has expensive equipment to edit it. Or if you're a professional and you're in some crazy situation that you know is going to have such a wild difference between the quietest and the loudest noises beyond that of a gunshot or an explosion. So that's a 32 float file. If you are looking at buying a recorder because you think you need 32 float, you will never hear the difference in quality in anything that, that you produce or deliver. It is only to save you from mistakes that you may make, wild, wild, wild mistakes that you may make during the recording process, or again, some ridiculous situation that you may need to anticipate and record. And, and the way around that, if you don't have 32 float, is to record two separate signals into two separate channels at two different levels. If you know you've got something loud, do a dual channel recording where you boost the signal or take the signal down compared to your, your first channel. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or if you think I'm wildly wrong about this and you need 32 float, I'd love to, to know why, and you can tell me in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you later. <sighs> How'd I do? Great.